Hello, fourth graders. I'm sorry that I am missing you today, but I'm going to keep you on top of things by teaching you from home. So, um, you should have just watched the video introducing you to artist George Rodriguez. George Rodriguez is famous for his blue dog paintings. Next class, when I'm back, I will introduce you to the artist Laurel Birch. And Laurel Birch is actually famous for her paintings of cats. So today, you're going to be doing the first part of your drawing. And that is my dog waiting and asking me to let her out. So hold on. Um, make a choice in your head if you will be doing a dog or a cat or both, okay? If you're doing just one animal, you'll put your paper vertical for this. If you're choosing to do both animals, you'll put it horizontal. So decide before you get started which way you're going to do it. All right, I'm going to do each one um, separately so that you can see them up close. I'm going to start with the dog. So if you are planning to do with the kitty, you might want to follow along on a piece of scrap paper, the dog, just so that you know how to do it. And then um, on your final paper, you can do the kitty. All right, so we're starting and it can be any type of a dog that you choose. I'm going to show you a couple variations to make it um, more like what you want it to look like. So we're going to actually start with the snout. The snout is the part of the dog that, that sticks out. So you're going to come a little ways down your paper and begin with a, an arc, an upside down U that looks like this. At the bottom of the U, make a rounded area so that when it's done, it kind of looks like a pear or a keyhole. Go ahead and do that now. Remember, you want to give yourself some space at the top of the paper so that you can add the head. And then if you choose to, you may be adding things like hats or accessories on top. So give yourself a little space. All right, next we're going to do the dog's nose. So the dog's nose goes on the snout. And if you picture it looking something like a mushroom or even a bubble letter T, that's a good way to start. I'm gonna just move this part over a little bit so that it's more even. Okay. Next, you're going to make the mouth of your dog. So to do the mouth, you're going to start here and curve it like that. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. If you choose, you can make the tongue sticking out. So to do the tongue, do a curve like this. And then if, if you did the tongue, you can then erase this line that showed the bottom of the mouth. All right, we're ready to move on. So the next thing you're gonna do is your dog's head. We're actually gonna start from the bottom and go around. So a dog's heads rarely are perfectly circular. They're usually more of a triangle, a rounded triangle. So I'm gonna go up on one side like this, and then up on the other side like this. And then I'm going to curve around the top. If you want your dog to have a slightly chubbier face or rounder face, just make that a little bit rounder, like that. Okay. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna add 
is the eyes. You may do your eyes however you choose, but a basic eye can be as simple as two circles, with a pupil. All right, so go ahead and do your eyes. And again, whatever eyes you choose to do is fun. I want you to think next about the, the breed of your dog and whether or not your dog's ears point upwards or if they hang down. So I'm going to show you how to do both. If you have a dog, if you're cho choosing to do a dog that has slightly pointy ears that stick up, you're going to start on one side of the head and do a shape like this. This might be for something like a boxer or a terrier, or there's many dogs that have those short pointy ears. If you're choosing to do a dog with longer or floppier ears, you might want it to start coming out from the side and then curve around to like a floppy ear. If your dog's ears are even longer and floppier, go ahead and make them longer and floppier. If at any point you find that I'm going too fast and you haven't finished one step, leave it. Let's say you've got one ear done, but the other ear not. Leave that for later, follow along and go back. All right, we're gonna move on. So next you're gonna, going to do the dog's body. So start at one of the cheeks, either side, doesn't matter. Come down and curve up to make a little paw like this. Kind of a backwards J. All right, next we're going to do the same thing on the other side to make a second paw. Curve up and around like that. Next, you're going to connect the two paws with an upside down U. And finally, we'll show the little belly between the paws. Okay. We have two more steps. We're going to do the hind legs and then we'll do the tail. So let's start with the hind legs. So on each side, make a curve that goes like this. Now off of both of those legs, We'll make one of the hind paws. And I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer to match the other side. If you want to, you can draw little lines to show that, to show the dog's toes. And then finally, you'll add a tail. So maybe your dog's tail is pointy, maybe it's round. If you want it to look like the tail is up and wagging, have it go like this. If you want to, you can do little lines that mimic, that show that your tail is wagging. And that is it for today.
Okay. Next, we're going to move on to the kitty. The kitty is actually a little bit quicker. So if you were just working on the dog, uh, put your dog aside, unless you have something else you wanna work on, or fix up, and move on to the kitty. All right, so the kitty goes a little bit quicker. You're going to start uh, about maybe a quarter of the way down your paper again with just a little arch like this. Now, kitty ears are pointy. So make two pointy kitty ears. Oh, and look, I told you kitty ears are pointy. <laughs> Hello, Ollie. <laughs> Special guest appearance. All right. Next, you're going to start on one side. You're going to help Ollie. And you're going to curve around like this and up. Oh, thanks, Al. You're not helping, buddy. <laughs> then you're going to start on the other side. Oh, and we want to make it a little rounder like the first side. Curve it around like this and up. All right, so that's your kitty's head. If you want to, you can do a little triangle inside the ears. Up to you. All right. Then we're gonna move on to your kitty's nose. So your kitty's nose is slightly triangular shaped like this. Right out. To do the kitty's mouth, come down like this on each side. If you want to make it a little fun and whimsical, you might want to make a curly little mouth. Next, you're going to do your kitty's eyes. So kitty eyes are a little bit more human shaped, more almond shaped. We'll work, I'm going to do that on both sides and don't stress about getting them perfect. And then the unique thing about kitty eyes, anyone who knows a kitty knows, is that the pupil is actually shaped more like this. And I can even see, as I'm looking at this, one eye is a little bit bigger than the other. I'm not going to stress too much about that now because I can go back and fix that later. All right. If you want to, you can add some whiskers. Ooh, right over his eye. Keep those below the eyes next time. There we go. All right, and let's move on to the kitty's body. So the kitty's body, the first part is similar to the way that we did the dog. So you'll start on, at one cheek, come down and curve up for the first paw. Now, you're going to make a second front paw. It only comes up a little ways like this. So this next part is a little bit tricky because what you're going to do is you're going to make your kitty's back, but you're then going to curve it around to show the tail. So start on the other side and this time 
<clears throat> you're going to make the kitty's um, back curve around like this. And then you're going to loop it up right next to the feet like this. From there, have it curve around. And finish up the tail like this. If you want to, you can add a little tongue. I don't know. I rarely see my kitty's tongue, so I think I'm going to skip that. But that's it. That's the beginning of your cat. So, next class, we will be adding the final details. So the things that you'll be adding are either funky patterns like Laura Birch's cats, or you can add accessories such as clothing or um, background details to add character to your animals. All right, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next week.